Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I make these really fun, really cute beaded cherries that I think I'm going to be making into a pair of earrings. Um, first of all I'm going to be showing you how I make the little beaded ball which you can also use to make many different things as well. I've got some examples here of some earrings that I made using that technique and also this really fun summery bracelet. But today we're going to be focusing on the cherries, so let's just get started. So to make the cherries you will need some seed beads. Now you, I'm using these size 9 seed beads, you can do this using size 11 or size 8. I find that size 8 and size 9 work the best for this design. They come out with the neatest, tidiest looking cherry. Um, size 11 works as well and I did try it with size 6 seed beads but as you can see here it's a lot messier, it's not as neat, it's a lot floppier, not as sturdy. Um, it does work so it's just entirely up to you but as I said size 8 or size 9 is the ideal size for these. So you'll need those in your cherry colour. You'll also need some size 11 seed beads in green and your beading needle and you'll need about one arm's length of fire line. I'm using six pound crystal. So begin by threading your needle and you're going to pick up four of the red seed beads and slide those down. And then you're going to sew back up through the very first one that you added and to bring them all together into a circle. Next you're going to be putting a bead in between those four that you just added. So pick up your first bead and sew directly into the next bead along. And then pick up your second bead and do the same again, sew into the next bead. Same again, pick up your third bead, sew into the next bead along. And then pick up your final bead of this round, sew into the next bead along. And you also want to step up into the one above that as you can see here. So for this round we're going to be putting two beads in between those four that we just added. So pick up your first set of two, come out of this bead and skip over the middle one and into the next one. And you're going to do that all the way around. So pick up two, skip over one, and into the next. And repeat that until the end of the round. So here I'm about to pick up the final two. And we also need to step up this time into those last two that we added on the previous round just like that. So this time we're picking up one bead and we're going to go into the next two beads along. And do the same again. So pick up one bead, skip over that one in the middle and go through the next two. And you're going to do that two more times. So you're here for the final bead of the round. Same again, skip over one and go into the next two beads.
And because that was the last one in the round, we need to step up into the next bead along. Pull it really tight and it should start to curve up. So this time, again, we're adding two beads at a time. So pick up your first two beads and you're coming out of this one here, skip over the two underneath and into the next one on the corner that's sticking up. And when you pull it through, those two beads that you just added should stack on top of the two below. And then you're going to do that three more times until you finish the round. So I'll just show you again for the last one. Come out of that one, skip over the two in the middle and go into the one on the corner. And as it's the last row, the last bead in the round, you're gonna go into the next two to begin the next round. So this time we're gonna be putting one bead in between those groups of two. So four beads total. So pick up your first bead of the round and go into the next two along. And same again, pick up one bead and go into the next group of two. Same again, into the next two along, and for the final bead, same thing again, into the next two along, and then we're going to step up into that bead on top. So now we have this, and there's just four more red beads to add, so pick up one red bead, Skip over the two below and into the next one that's sticking up on the corner. And do that all the way around. So skip over two and go into the next one. And when you've added the last bead, you just want to step into one of those that you just added and then circle your thread through those last four beads to bring them all together. And then pull it really tight. And now you've got the little beaded ball. So now you want to pick up one of your green beads and you're going to be going into the bead opposite to the one. So if you cross your thread over like this it will show you which direction you need to enter that bead opposite in. And then thread back through the green bead and into the red bead in the other direction. Um, I hope that makes sense so your thread sort of crosses through that middle bead. And so that's one of your little cherries finished. Now you need to go back and make another one exactly the same and when you've done that we'll come back and I'll show you how to join them together and add the stalk. Okay, so we've got our two cherries now, and on this one I've tied off both of the threads, just gone back through the bead and tied my knots. And for the other one, I've left my working thread and gone ahead and tied off my tail thread. 
So you want to be exiting out of the green bead and then you're going to pick up 11 more of the green beads and slide those down. And now you want to pick up the cherry that you're not attached to and sew through that green bead that's on the top in any direction. And bring it down to meet the other beads. So now you've got this. And now you want to go through that red bead underneath. And back up into the green bead. The first green bead. And then you're going to sew through five, just five of the green beads. And then it's really important now that you skip over the sixth bead, ignore it completely. Don't go through the sixth bead and then go down through the five green beads on the other side, ignoring that one in the middle completely. So when you pull it tight, you might have to help it out a little bit. That one should just pop and stick up, pop into place. Now you're going to go through that last green bead on the bottom. And again, circle round that red bead underneath to position your thread. Ready to sew back up into the green beads. And you're going to come up until you're exiting out of that sixth bead in the middle. So when you're exiting out of that middle bead, then we're going to add the leaf. So you need to pick up seven of your green seed beads and go into the bead in the opposite direction. And this time we're going to sew through the first three, just the first three green beads. And just like with the stalk, you're going to skip that middle bead entirely and sew down through the remaining three beads. And again, that bead should just pop out into place. Now you want to sew back through the middle bead and then that is your cherry done. So now you just need to Sew back down through all those green beads in the stalk and back into your cherry where you can go ahead and tie your knots and tie off your thread. So there we are, there's our finished cherries. So it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it, it doesn't take too long to make. Um, and like I said, you could do them in different sizes, um, it depends what look you're going for. And again, here's some examples of some different things you might want to make using the same technique. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And please leave me any comments down below. Like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. Um, please follow me on Instagram. I'm at Beading by Hannah. And if you do make anything from any of my videos, please tag me over there. I'd love to see it. And again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.